Hello guys, today I wanted to present to you the new Livewire 3, which was released last week, finally went out of beta, so I can recreate my older course, which I did, and now on Courses of Laravel Daily you can see Livewire 3 from scratch. I had an older course practical start with Livewire, but it was from 2020, and a lot of that was still relevant, but I decided to make it from video to text form course, to make it easily searchable and skimmable, and update everything with Livewire 3 syntax, new approaches, and stuff like that. So, for those of you who haven't started with Livewire at all, you can start from scratch with this 20,000 words course with 20 or 30 lessons from the very beginning in a practical way. As always, as I do with my courses, I've read the docs, I've read the additional information and dissected it into like 20 or 30% of information that you actually need to know to start with Livewire. Now on YouTube here, as usual, I prepare something for free from a new course. So in upcoming few lessons, few videos, I will demonstrate the Livewire for those of you who haven't started yet. So if you want your web pages to be dynamic with dynamic elements, but without writing any JavaScript, Livewire is for you and I will demonstrate to you how to start with it. I've prepared this form and I will install Livewire from scratch for you, create the first component and basically will summarize the first lessons of the course for free here on YouTube. So here's an example. You have a form on the page, but you want the save not to refresh the full page, but instead have a success message here, reset the form, and then the user would be able to submit another record, again without refreshing of the page. So in the code we have a typical Laravel project without live wire yet, we have route view, and that view points to the form in the blade file. This is blade, no live wire yet, and we will add it here in live mode. It's a typical form with two inputs, with validation errors, nothing really fancy. So our goal here on submit here, to post the result, to validate them, and in case of success, put the success message here, and let's start from installing Livewire. So I've opened the first lesson of the course to be able to copy paste easily, and we do compose require Livewire version 3 specifically. So in the terminal of PHP Storm, we do compose or require, at the moment it's version 3.0.1. And then we generate the first live wire component. For now, let's just copy paste and I will show you what's inside. So we make live wire create post and it creates two files. So each live wire component consists of two files, the PHP class and the blade. Similarly, how in the Vue.js you would have template and script or generally in Laravel, it would be controller and view. And in fact, you can think of Livewire component as a controller. So in the terminal, it says which files it created. It will all be the classes in app Livewire and the view blaze that you generate in resources views Livewire. And now we can move that blade from our typical blade, the form, to the Livewire blade. I will cut it from here and in that generated create post blade, there needs to be one root element, usually it's a div, and inside you just paste the form, and in the blade, in the Laravel blade, you call that component by calling live wire, create post in our case. That's it. And now if we refresh our page, the form is still here, nothing visually changed. So we just moved the blade from Laravel to live wire. But in Livewire, now we can have dynamic things. We can assign the value of every input to a variable in Livewire component. Let me show you in practice. We have wire model, and let's call that property title. Similarly, in the other input in the text area, we have wire model body. And those title and body would be initialized in the Livewire component, the thing that I called controller create post. In Livewire, we create them here, public string title and also public string body. And each component of Livewire has render method, which actually loads that blade. And now we can work with title and body inside of Livewire component, like this title and body. And we would get the values in live mode from anything that changed from blade. And this is where dynamic things start to happen. Let's actually build the form submission. So if we go to blade, our form would not have a typical submit. It would be a wire submit. And we define the method that we would actually implement in the live wire component. Let's call it save. And then in this part, we create the method save public function 
save. And for now, let's do dd this title, for example. And now if we refresh our form page, nothing changed so far, but if we type in something, we hit save and we have dd this title. So this is how the wire model binding works. Whenever you call something from the blade, like wire submit, there are other actions like wire click and others. You call the method that is implemented in the live wire component in Laravel and PHP language. And this is the beauty of live wire for those who are technically backenders, Laravel developers who don't like the JavaScript, who don't like to write Vue.js components or React components. With Livewire, backenders stay in their comfort zone, writing still Blaze and still Laravel language with Laravel syntax. Just Livewire components serve as kind of Laravel controllers. So now in save, instead of DD, we can do post create. I have a model already prepared and do title this title and body this body like this. And also let's clear up the form by doing this reset and we reset the values of certain properties to their initial values. And we assign initial values here, empty strings for title and body. And we reset both title and body like this. And now if we refresh our page and fill in the form, for example, with Chrome extension form filler, we hit save and you can see it is cleared. And in the database, we have this new record saved successfully. Again, without refreshing off the page, only this part is refreshed. The final part in this lesson, let's show the success message here. Let's create another LiveWire property, public boolean success equals false by default. And in here in save, we will do this success equals true. And then in the blade, we will do if success true. So if success, we will show the success message. So we will delete from that create blade, delete that live wire will be here soon. And we will have some text here like post saved successfully. Or let's style it a bit. I've prepared some styling block here like this, or it could be div actually not span and then like this. Let's try it out, refresh the form, form filler Chrome extension, we save and we have post save successfully. Again, without refreshing off the page and without writing any line of JavaScript. So this is Livewire in its most core demo. And in the upcoming few videos on this channel, I will show you a few more examples. And if you want the full course, it's available on LaravelDaily.com for premium members. And I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.